Hey guys, this video contains an exercise on break-even analysis. So what is break-even point? Basically, this is a point where the sales revenue equal total cost. Hence, at this point, there is no profit or loss. So in this exercise, we have this company that produces and sells product A and product B. We have selling price for both products, variable cost, and sales forecast for the product. The monthly fixed cost is $50. We need to calculate the break-even point for the two products. The formula to calculate the break-even point is you take total fixed cost and you divide it by the weighted average contribution margin per unit. From the given information, we know that the fixed cost is $50, but we need to find out what is, what is the weighted average contribution margin per unit. How much to calculate the weighted average contribution margin per unit is you take the weighted average selling price and you minus the weighted average variable expenses. So the first step is to calculate the weighted average selling price. The weighted average selling price is you take the for product A, you take the selling price, which is ten dollars per unit. So ten times the forty percent, basically that's the sales forecast for the upcoming month. So ten times forty percent is four. Plus, the for product B, the selling price is fifteen dollars per unit, and the sales forecast is sixty percent. So fifteen dollars times sixty percent sales forecast, you get nine. So four plus nine is thirteen. Weighted average selling price. Now that we have the weighted average average selling price, we need to calculate the weighted average variable expenses. The weighted average variable expense is that you take the Five dollar variable cost for product A, and you multiply with the sales forecast of for product A is forty percent. So five dollars times forty percent is two, and then you do the same for product B. So variable cost is ten dollars for product B, and sales forecast sixty percent. So ten times sixty percent is six. So two plus six is eight. Weighted average variable expenses. Now that we have both the variable average selling price and the weighted average variable expenses. We can now calculate the weighted average contribution margin per unit. So the weighted average contribution margin per unit is 13, which is the average selling price minus the 8. That is the weighted average variable expense that we just calculated. So 13 minus 8 is the 5. Weighted average contribution margin per unit. Now we need to calculate the break-even point. So the total fixed cost, the formula to calculate the break-even point is total fixed cost. You take $50 right here, monthly pay for $50, and you divide by the weighted average contribution margin per unit, which is $5. So if you divide by 5 is 10 units of break even point. But at this point, we, we need to find out what is the total units for product A and product B that will be sold. So in order to find out the product units for product A and B, we know that the break even point is 10 units. So you take 10 units and you multiply with them. 40% sale forecast of product A. So 10 units times 40% gives you 4 units. You do the same for product B. You take the 10 units break even point and you multiply with the 60% sale forecast for product B. So 10 units times 60% gives you 6 units. So 4 plus 6 is 10 units. Now we need to, now that we have the break even point in units, we need to calculate the break even point in revenue. For product A, we, what we would do is take the four units that we, have, that we will be selling for product A. So four units times ten dollar selling price for product A. Four, four times ten is forty dollar for revenue for product A. For product B, you take the six units, multiply with the selling price. So six times fifteen is ninety. So total break even um, in revenue in terms of revenue is forty and ninety for product A and B. Now we need to verify our calculations. Uh, we will be inserting these numbers into the income statement. So the sales revenue is $130, which is basically the 40 and the $90 revenue we just calculated. So 40 plus 90 is 130. And you minus the variable expenses. What we would do is take the four units times the $5 variable cost for product A plus the six units for product B multiply with the variable cost for product is 10. So you get a total variable expense of $80. So sales revenue is 130, variable expense is 80.
Sales minus variable spend gives you contribution margin of fifty dollars. We know that our less we know that fixed cost monthly fixed cost is fifty dollars. So you would do contribution margin fifty minus the fixed cost of fifty gives you net income of zero. So we we know that at break even point there is no profit or loss. Hence our calculations and numbers are right.